Welcome back. Well, today is not an official first alert day, but we are calling first alert weather because of the conditions we have coming up starting tomorrow and going through Monday. So we have several days of first alert conditions coming our way. Now, the reason we have first alert stuff going on today is to prepare you to for the, the upcoming winter storm that's going to be moving in late tonight through the next couple of days. Starting with today, we're going to break it down for you. The view out in window shows some stars out there, so we actually got some clear skies. It is bitter out there, so make sure you bundle up as you head out the door. Temperatures are but one below zero in Marshall, sitting at zero degrees in Slayton. In the Wyndham area, seven degrees with 14 here in Mankato, Blue Earth, Esterville, and Wasika. We are up to 19 degrees in Forest City with 21 degrees out by Mason City. So not too warm out there. Winds are a bit breezy coming out of the northwest, anywhere up to about 15 miles an hour despite St. James. There's always got to be an oddball in the area, and that today is St. James reaching up to 16 miles an hour. But because of this breeze, wind chill values are even more bitter. Majority of the area is sitting below zero for what it feels like out there. And the coldest wind chill value we have is 15 below in Marshall and Slayton. Feeling like 13 below in Redwood Falls and Olivia. With one below in Glencoe as well as Blue Earth here in Mankato. Still feeling above zero with a single degree for what it feels like. The warmest wind chill we have in the area is, uh, just kidding, is Mason City <laughs> at 8 degrees, 9 degrees in Forest City. I gotta love when all of these jump. In fact, we just dropped to a real feel of 17 below zero in Slayton and 5 below for what it feels like here in Mankato and St. Peter. So pretty cold out there. Satellite radar imagery showing those clouds clearing. So as these clouds clear, expect those temperatures to drop a little bit more. As we've always talked about, clouds work like a blanket. So right now it's trapping that heat that we got from yesterday. A little bit of heat, even though it was cold, we still get some heat. Once those clouds clear, those temperatures are going to continue to drop a little bit before they rise back up a few degrees. Now, with that being said, the good news about today is we've got some pockets of sunshine to look forward to before those clouds thicken back up with snow moving into the far southwestern portion of the area late tonight. Not into the Mankato area until after midnight, but uh, from that point forward, flurries to moderate to heavy snowfall expected all throughout tomorrow and into Saturday. Now, heaviest totals will be from Mankato eastward with lighter totals to the north and northwest of us. In fact, northwest of us looking at one to three inches, while here we are looking at three to six inches, four to eight possible the more east you head. The system has been tracking farther and farther west. So what that means is if it continues to do that, these higher totals are going to be moving westward. So as of right now, we're looking at three to six inches, but if it continues to move west, we could see four to eight inches possible. So that's something that we are watching very closely as this system becomes more organized going into tomorrow. That being said, because of the snow, the strong winds, the hazardous travel conditions, and the dangerously cold temperatures on the way with this system, a winter storm warning has been issued for southern Minnesota and northern Iowa through Saturday morning. This will go into effect officially late tonight. 13 degrees for the high today. It's going to be oh so warm out there. With, at least we've got some pockets of sunshine to look forward to before that snow moves in after midnight tonight. Dropping to a low of 6 degrees by tomorrow morning. Here's a look at your extended forecast. First alert weather days Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So breaking it down even more. First alert weather days Friday and Saturday due to snow and areas of blowing snow, drifting, and then that dangerously cold weather starts to move in Saturday night. And that is why we have first alert weather days for Sunday and Monday. Highs on Sunday and Monday below zero, but wind chill values going to range between 20 below zero and 40 below zero. Highs will rise above zero going into the rest of next week with a small chance of snow possible in the forecast next Wednesday. Stay tuned. We'll be back after the break.